welcome to the third video of our series in this video i will be going to show you that how can you install mysql in your computer and run it via vs code and workbench too so just go in your browser and search for mysql download Click on the first link here scroll down and go with this link search for mysql installer for windows now uh, you can choose any of these options i will be going with the first one just to start my download save Again, click on yes again click on yes now uh, here you have to customize this click on custom choose the select uh, server version i will be going with the latest version click on this this version and green arrow and go in applications i want workbench so i will be going with workbench and it's latest uh, and it's latest version click on next execute now it will start downloading your workbench and your server my workbench is downloaded and my server is almost downloaded let's wait for a few seconds click on next and execute again we have to wait for a few seconds this will install our server and workbench in our pc server installation is done workbench is about to get installed we are done click on next next here you have to choose development computer and remember this port number next next here you have to create a password for your root user your root user will be the main user for your database you can see so i will be going with 0101 again 0101 uh, these are the credentials for my root user and if I want to create a separate user, I can uh, create, click on add user. And I will be creating a user named as Pratham Bhagda. And host will be local host. He will be the DB admin. Password will be again same 0101. You can choose a different password too. Click on OK our new user is added and root user password is also set now click on next 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 execute so mysql installation is almost in let's finish this next finish now what we will do is we will go in our workbench this is automatically loaded and uh, this is showing our two current users we can go with this any of these user so i will go with this one firstly and uh, select this command show databases this will show the currently present databases in my system so these are the databases which are already created by mysql by default now we will go with the vs code part open your vs code here you will need an extension named as mysql This extension will be from this person. 
I will show you again how to install this. VS Code. And then go in extensions tab here. Install MySQL extension. Install this one. Now come back in your main directory. Here you will see an option named as MySQL. Click on this. Click on plus button. Here type localhost. Browser will be if you want uh, if you want to connect with root user you can type root here but i want to connect with the main user that is pratham bartla i will go with this one uh, and i will enter the password that is 0101 code number will be default that is 3306 and hit enter here you can see that my uh, connection is successfully made but there is an error. So, for removing this error, what do you have to do? Go on command prompt. And here you have to log in your MySQL. So, type this command MySQL hyphen H. This will show your host. And our host is localhost. Hyphen capital P. This will show your port number. Our port is 3306. Hyphen U. That is user. From which user you want to log in. I will go with the root user. You can also go with the user which you will be connecting. Hyphen again and small p. This is small p is for password. And you have to enter your password now. I will enter my password. You can see that here you can see your welcome message. That simply means you are all done. Just a step away. Here you have to type. I will be showing you the command which you have to type. Here you have to type alter user. In quotations, type the username which you have created. For a new user, other than the root user, I mean, at localhost. Identified by identified with. MySQL underscore native underscore password by in quotations type a password and end with semicolon hit enter okay so our command is successful here you have to type one more command that is flush privileges and then end with semicolon here our, uh, our setup is done now get now here click on refresh now we can see our databases here too and create uh, some operations if you want Let's say I have to execute a new query. It will be creating a database of, for us. Create database uh, named as users. User DB. Semicolon end. We will save this file. Let's create database name. And execute this file. MySQL query. So our execution is done. We can check this here. And yes, we have got our users DB database. So guys, that's all for this video.
hope you have learned something from this so guys let's see you next time